Hey, I'm Chris. I'm a visual anthropologist here at TED.com. Well, I thought we'd talk a little bit today about our thoughts behind the 100 Years of Beauty Sweden video that we just put out. In the Sweden video, we're interested actually in the emergence and popularity of black metal, which is a actually world famous subculture that emerges out of Scandinavia. It has its own local meanings and is fraught with a lot of different tensions. Swedish women's dissatisfaction with modernity produced and generated incredibly interesting, creative, and uniquely beautiful expressions, and really diverse ones too. If you are really paying attention, you'll notice that about half of the looks from the half, last half of the video are all from singer-songwriters, musicians, and pop stars. Through the articulation of pop music and pop culture in Sweden, which goes global and viral around the world, I think we do see actually a evolution or a development of the ways women express themselves. Okay, when we look at the subcultural look next to a mainstream look, what we're really doing is asking how two different kinds of women in Sweden are both interpreting and navigating the same world. You know, one way, of course, is to look for glamour and for traditional and feminine forms of beauty. But another might be to find more provocative, raw, aggressive aesthetics that in and of themselves might be interpreted as beautiful to some people. All of these symbols, all of these guttural cries and <laughs> growling screams that come out of these genres, we could read as a way that people are reacting and responding to contemporary contexts of capitalism in Northern Europe. There's no shortage of subcultures around the world that have their own aesthetic, that have their own sense of inventiveness and imagination and creativity. And so that's something I'd like to see us explore more in the series. So if you guys have any ideas at all, like just feel free to comment. You know we're reading them. So.